Shot. So Boston all and not be celebrating too much right now. Wait till the end of the game. Well, that's good advice, but I th think they've already started. 26 seconds to go. 109 to 102. And somebody once said it's never over until it's over. Uh, having real difficulty, Dick, just getting the crowd off to play the remainder of this 26 seconds. Casey Jones is asking everybody to get back. The photographers are all around. And now the Celtic players are urging the fans to stay off. There's nothing that can tarnish, to an extent, a victory moment more than for the game not to be completed. Well, they're going to have to complete it. There's 26 seconds. That's plenty enough time for the Lakers to do something. I wish these people to get back so that the game could continue. Now there's rosin on the floor. They're going to have to take time cleaning that up. Fans, why don't you let the players play when they come out? They're going to try and get it started now. Magic Johnson will inbound. ML Carr in the ball game to defend. Here's Byron Scott going to Kareem, knocked out of bounds, and it's still Los Angeles ball. Great pointer. No good. Seven point lead, Boston ball. And a foul. <sighs> and now Casey Jones is smiling. He knows he's got it. And Tommy, that 15th world championship for the Boston Celtics ironically comes one year after their most embarrassing moment in Celtic playoff history when they were swept four straight by the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, Casey brought a new relaxed atmosphere to this ball club. They loved him when he was an assistant coach and they proved it here tonight. And the Lakers, well, they made it here for the third straight season. They're a powerhouse. They're a team with stars, a team with talent. They have won their championships in recent years. They've got a 37-year-old center. Other than that, they've got some great young talent and people like Magic Johnson and James Worthy. Worthy, Cooper, even this kid Byron Scott's going to make his presence felt next season more and more. That's still very much in it. You know, you go seven games, that's one of the classics. Final second. Cooper goes for three. It's over. Celtics are the NBA world champions in a grueling seven game series with the Los Angeles Lakers the Celtics with the best record in the league beat the team with the second best record in the league the final score Boston 111 and Los Angeles 102 15 world titles another banner will be hung from the rafters at Boston Garden
we will have the presentation of the O'Brien Trophy to the new world champions. Pat O'Brien will try to get a word from the Lakers. We'll be back with Brent Musburger and the gang with post-game ceremonies in just a moment. Hang high, another banner from the Boston Garden. The Celtics have done it. It is number 15 for this proud franchise. And with me now is the commissioner of the NBA, David Stern, and of course the retiring general manager, Red Arback, and the man, Casey Jones, who did a brilliant coaching job in this series. Commissioner? What a spectacular finale to a record-breaking season, Red. It's my pleasure to present the Larry O'Brien Trophy to the NBA world champion, 1984 Boston Celtics. Congratulations to Red Auerbach. Number 15, what a way to go. Congratulations to KC Jones, who did a great job all year. And congratulations to Alan Cohn, Don Gaston, and to du Dupuis for their ownership. <laughs> Brett, how do you feel? How, how does number 15 make you feel? It feels great. Whatever happened to the Los Angeles dynasty? You guys were talking about a dynasty. Here's where it is, right here. That's the dynasty. We're the best team in the world right now. The best. There they are out there. I got to say, Red, you got the best coach in the world. They see a brilliant coaching time in this show. Thank you very much. I did the whole thing by myself, and I got some help from uh, from Larry Bird. However, but thanks to these guys, they helped me throughout the whole year, and uh, it's much appreciated. They right. see. Let me grab a word with a couple of the players. Cedric. 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 Let me ask you about this. What this championship means to you and the Celtics? Oh, it's great! It's great! And I think we play with our hearts. I'd like to say hello to my mom, to all my frat brothers, all the makers out there in the world. I win number one, baby! Yeah! Larry Bird, congratulations. You were the most valuable player. And I must add that they said you were going to be the MVP if Boston even lost this game tonight. That's how great this series was. What does it mean to Larry? Well, it means a lot, but uh, there's a lot of players out there still capable of winning the MVP award, Bernard King and, and uh, Jabbar and some of the others. But uh, right now, we just feel happy about winning. Larry, does this get you even with magic for what happened between Michigan State and Indiana State all those many years ago? That. We're professionals now, but uh, I won this one for Terre Haute. You won it for Terre Haute, I'll tell you that. Great series, and we're going to be back with hey, Dennis back. Johnson and some of the oh, other Celtics. Oh, okay. Celtics. How about Al Pat? We continue <laughs> from the Boston Celtics locker room in yes. just a moment. Larry, thank you. The celebration continues here in Boston. And with me now, I suppose, are the two most maligned guards in the entire NBA, Gerald Henderson on my right, Dennis Johnson on my left. Gerald, I've got to go back to game two. I think that your moment when you stole that ball and tied that game may have been the single biggest moment of the series. We had to have that game, and it, it proved to be a vital one for us because that carried us, it carried us right into this game. Dennis, when you were finally put on Magic Johnson, you did, you did a fabulous, fabulous job. Did you know you could do it? Well, I, I'll tell you like this, I came here in a year like this, and I was on a mission. Nobody thought I could do it, but I believed in myself, and that case and the team believed in me, and I just wanted to repay them back. And by God, Dennis Johnson got out on the court and worked his tail off, and we all won a championship. Uh, Everybody they sure did. They talk about our backcourt all year long, about we can't shoot from the outside, but we make things happen. And we made it happen tonight. I think they've said it all from down here. Let's go upstairs now to Dick Stockton. Thank you very much, Brent. And I've got some the two experts with me right now, Kevin Lockery on my mic and Tommy Heinsohn on my left. Kevin, how'd you look at this series? I think something happened in game four, Dick. When they put Dennis Johnson, the Celtics put Dennis Johnson on Magic Johnson, that turned the series around. Also in that game, it became a physical series. The Lakers were not as physical, particularly in game seven at the Celtics, and that turned it around. Glad to have you with us, My as pleasure. usual. Tommy? I think this was one of the all-time great series. It had everything. It had players playing great, and had players playing poorly, rebounding. Physical violence, coaches making charges in the press, players making charges in the press, and best of all, it had a class basketball game. And the Boston Celtics, who last summer had an ownership problem, Red Auerbach was quitting, Bill Fitch resigned, two players were unhappy, and Larry Bird and Kevin McHale, and it looked like this once proud franchise was in disarray. But they fixed it up in a hurry. What happened is that Bird and Kevin McHale were signed, they found new owners, 
And of course, Red Auerbach stayed on. He named PC Jones as the head coach. They acquired Dennis Johnson and a team that was really shaky last summer now has won its 15th world championship. So this is Dick Stockton for Brad Musburger, Tom Heinsohn, Pat O'Brien, and Kevin Lockery saying so long from the Boston Garden, where the Boston Celtics have beaten the Los Angeles Lakers.